What is up guys? We are here with a new game to the channel called The Thaumaturge. Now this is a story rich turn based RPG uh, where you have a lot of different choices in the game. And if you've been on the channel long enough, you know that this is this is my type of game. So uh, I've only played through the prologue um, just to start act one. So I don't know anything past act one. And I think just to make things interesting because I know turn based combat is pretty slow and uninteresting at times. Um, I'm going to be playing this on challenge mode, which is the hardest difficulty in the game. So let's see how many times I die. And if you guys stick around to the end, uh, let's hope we enjoy the ending of the game. But with that said, let's go. Thaumata is a word deriving from Greek. It means miracles. A thaumaturge or tempermancer is one able to discover secrets lingering in persons or places. They recognize flaws or stigmas imprinted on the human psyche and can bring them to the surface. Are they a doctor of souls? It is impossible to be fully named the essence of a thaumaturge without being born one. It is impossible to fully name the essence. Okay. Interesting. Interesting wording there. One thing I'm hoping too is like while we play that the frame rate doesn't drop like crazy. During the prologue, it was dropping for some reason on different cutscenes or battles. So I'm hoping that's not the case while I record at least. <laughs> for years, I've been seeing you in my dreams, and lately, more and more. I know it's you, but I can no longer recognize your face. I don't know if I'd recognize you if I saw you. I hope your condition hasn't worsened much since you last wrote. I can hardly imagine what a nightmare you're going through. Remember, you're not alone. I'm sure our father would be happy to help, if only you asked him. I assure you that for now, I haven't said a word to him about your search or your health, just as you requested. He doesn't know your intention, and with God as my witness, he'll not find out from me. I know, you think the only thing that can help you is a miracle. But such itinerant miracle workers, preachers, and folk mystics often take advantage of those in grave condition who are desperate or seeking help. I hope the man you're pursuing can actually ease your mind. But if not, remember that in the end, we will find a way to help you. Just because we can't see it now, does not mean it doesn't exist. Send word as soon as you get there. I want to know you are safe. With as much love as I have. Ligia. Could you spare a moment for me? I'd like to send a telegram. Of course. Pardon me, sir, but are you feeling all right? I'm just tired, bro. Just yes, tired. Thank you. You're not looking your best. Better turn up with the squad. Thank you. What's your message? Uh, first play a trick on him. Take this down, please. Arrive. Very beautiful views. People honest at first glance. Sincerely, your barely living cripple. I didn't mean to cause offense. 
Well, you did. Well, then strike that, please. Take this down, please. Arrived. I think I have found him. I hope he will receive me. I will write as soon as I am able. End payment? On receipt. Anything to add at the end? Uh... Then greetings to your sister. Please add, my love to you, my sister. Okay, I wouldn't have said that, but, you know. Touching. I guess. From whom? Yo, my mama. Is Victor Shulski. S-Z-U-L-S-K-I. And Victor with a W, not a V. Interesting name. Where's this headed? Warsaw. Russia. And this is supposedly Georgia. Russia here and Russia there. Russia everywhere, on every map. Maps change. True. True. I know, I know. Let's get on with it. Pardon? I was talking to myself. Which way to the village? The coachman is picking up the mail. Maybe he'll give you a ride. Thank you. Looney. Okay. So, now we're here in the game. And so this is how most of the game, aside from combat, is going to be looking. So you'll be able to, like, interact with different items. Um, playing on PC, you just right-click on the mouse to activate his perception. And you just interact with uh, different objects to pick up clues. So it's like a detective, thaumaturge type of game with different choices that alter the story. So perception, as a thaumaturge, you possess exceptional perception. You can see things that are hidden from sight. You can anticipate the enemy's actions and follow traces of emotion, thoughts, actions, and words. And you can reach your goal easier. So that's when like they want you to run around pretty much. You're gonna hear this a lot in the videos, unfortunately, is all this clicking I do, because you want to read everything you come across, or at least collect it. Hello. Are you going to the village by any chance? Hello there. Where else? There's nowhere to go here, sir. The station, the village, and the cemetery. That's all. A horse can't go any higher. Yeah. The village is what interests me. Well, if you've got reason to be there, climb in. Uh, ask if there's a healer. So is it just locals living in the village? Who else would want to live in a shithole like this? I actually meant, is there anyone visiting, a guest? Ah, you came for some healing. Well, he's no guest here. He's been here months, my friend. The people are tormented, so he's sure got folks to heal. Where might I find him? I bet he's still in the tavern. He prays this time of day. Oh, he prays a heck of a lot. You getting in, or what? Oh yeah, let's go. I'd be grateful. Always nice to have someone to shoot the breeze with. Nothing to see around here. Ah, this is everything. Hard to get lost in this place. Head to the tavern over there, past the little square, up the steps. They'll tell you where the preacher's at. Or this time of day, he'll be there himself. Thank you. A protective charm made of string sticks and feathers. It's supposed to protect the residents from the influence of evil powers. Uh, let me go here and read. <laughs> so one thing too, as you see over here on the left, as you discover stuff, you gain experience, and that's going to be how we uh, get enough uh, 
EXP to level up and then upgrade our stats for either hey, world or combat stuff. You're coming from far? Indeed, I'm tired. Nice boots. Are they warm? A proud answer, it not only draws from your flaw of pride level, but it will also feed it even more. So we're pretty much on this playthrough always going to go with like the pride answer. Actually, I have particularly warm boots. I think that's the point of and having later, these different options. These might kick their arses. Don't tempt me, Luca. Don't tempt me. Give me a sec. I've got to sort out formalities with this tourist. Formalities? We are the Tsar soldiers. Those don't look like soldiers' faces. Closer to thieves. I don't think he'll talk to us voluntarily. Man, and our boy sweating too. <laughs> See, now we get into combat, so of course it's just gonna let us know. We just gotta kill them, <laughs> and then we win. So then, another thing, as they give us like new tutorial items, they'll just give us option H, which allows us to go back to different things to take a look at. So we'll just start the fight off. We'll, we'll try to take this dude out. <laughs> Ooh, dead. <laughs> Perception allows you to anticipate the enemy's actions. To find out what they are planning, unfold the actions queue at the top of the screen. Each skill has its own speed. Slower skills are more powerful but require preparation, bringing the risk of an enemy attacking first. So we could get like two hits in. Let me see, we'll do a quick hit and then a planned hit. <laughs> Ooh, that was weak. One point. Ooh. Yeah. Fucked around and found out. Sarah's the Ruskis right. And then we got a level up point. They won't for thaumaturgy point, I guess. They'll be too embarrassed to admit some cripple got the better of them. Then we can check it out with O. So on the Grimoire's cover, there are available thaumaturgy points that you can spend on the tree. Purchase skill upgrades, improve your powers within any dimension, and hunt salutors to enable further development. So we got word, deed, mind, heart. And then we got these first upgrades where we get uh, combat, combat like passives to put on pretty much. So we got gamble, which gives us a 60% chance of dealing double damage, restores our focus. Reduce focus by one additional point if the enemy is in the suffering state. And then give a 50% chance of interrupting the enemy's planned action. Uh, I think I want to start off with this one. Word. Uh, and as we go through, you'll be able to then upgrade your salutor, I believe. And then we can check out these upgrades here. See, each skill can be upgraded. Place the upgrade in the des designated spot in the skill tree. So we got give fifty percent chance of interrupting the enemy's planned action, and I don't know why, but for some reason I want to put that on my quick attack at least. <laughs> Let's just make sure there's nothing else over here to interact with. Good boy. Pet a dog. All right, now we're at the end. News from Yerevan. Oh, cool. But well, let's go to who we're here to talk to. Forgive me, sir. Is your name Grigory Efimovich Rasputin? Say that three times fast. I forgive you. I'm sorry, it's just I've been looking for you for a very long time, and... And you expected a thinking simpleton. An illiterate who swindles sick people and claims he can speak to God himself. I already said I forgive you. Yes, I've heard. Especially in Petersburg. I've also heard about the healings. Even hopeless cases. Inexplicable ones. And what do you believe? Um, if you help me, I'll believe all of it. 
And please believe me when I say I've tried everything short of a miracle. And I know the meaning of that word. I'm a thaumaturge. Where are you coming from? I'm from Warsaw. So, from Russia. Poland. From which Poland? The Russian one, the German one, or the part that belongs to Austria? From Warsaw. Do you have a name? Viktor Shulski. Viktor. My path. I've already come across people who've lied to me about their problems, and then gone around calling me a charlatan. After them, others arrived, with pitchforks and torches, and I had to endure insults and spit in my face, yeah. or flee for my life. And now you say you're a wizard from an imaginary country that no one has seen on a map in over a hundred years. Forgive my amusement. I haven't had my first coffee yet. And that makes sense I on why the, uh... And I'm still asking for help. On why the post office Who dude amateurs, was making jokes. I what you have to say. Well, admit... That's partly the issue I wanted to speak to you about. Does that mean you give up? That means I'll try, but I, I don't know. All right, all right. I've met a few of your kind, so I know what you're capable of. Find something in this tavern that belongs to me, and tell me something only I could know. First, I need to have something personal that belongs to you to learn your trace. It's a sort of pattern I'll use to recognize the other objects. Smell this. <laughs> I don't trust it, bro. Just pull that out your ass. Pair of beads. So the zeal gushing from the beads impregnates the wool better than the tallow from the owner's strong fingers. The object pulses with a mixture of blue rapture, purple passion, and graphite fierceness. The touch of the beads burns, but it also attracts. Then trace certain is Rasputin. Draw a conclusion. Rasputin has a magnetic zeal and passion. He is a man with an attractive personality, strong and fierce, who is easy to follow. One just has to be careful not to get burned by the flame of his ardor. All right, let's get this I'll started. To you in a moment. So now we can hit like our I can hardly wait. our detective part of like the gameplay, which is going to be primarily uh, a lot of the gameplay here, where we'll be searching for items and whatnot. Right here, observations is how we get information and can draw conclusions to pretty much finish up side quests or main quests. So then, yeah, we must develop heart, deed, word, and mind dimensions. On some items, you'll find a trace of someone's personality. It takes one of the three forms. Unknown, you see it for the first time. Familiar, you've seen it before, but you're not certain who it belongs to. And then certain, you know exactly who left it. Traces are only revealed once you pass the test of perception on the item. Let's take a look around. So we have an item here. Even prayer. Can't dump in the rough. A dirty so bowl that someone has eaten stew deep. from. All right. Even prayer can't dampen the wrath smoldering in Rasputin. Spiritual focuses struggles under the weight of strong emotions. His calmness is a sham. He's no oasis of peace. Okay. We got mind one. So our dimension needs to be up um, by another point in order to even be able to observe that properly. Who would have thought there was such and then same with this one. Within him. The deed needs to go up, but it says it vibrates with a languishing mode of delight. We can draw our conclusion. Present the mask of a healer conceals an outstanding lover, irresistible to women's hearts and bodies. Perhaps this is one of his healing methods. And I think that would have been it. Yeah, but we can tell Rasputin what we found. You get so used to right clicking. Well, you're a zealous man. It permeates every level of your personality, your faith, your abilities. Not such an impressive discovery. I haven't finished yet. In Petersburg, you left behind a very devoted and very young. Lady in waiting. 
At least one, my friend. Oops. You didn't like your breakfast. Buckwheat with venison fat. You cursed the person who prepared it. You called her a hobbling cunt. It'd be like that. It'd be like that. <laughs> Rasputin will remember this. Remember it, bro. Tell me again. Why were you looking for me? I can't help but ask you about that young lady from Petersburg. Careful. I'm starting to like you. But not enough to tell you about Petersburg. How do you think Petersburg. I can A few years ago, I attempted to catch a wild salutor, and that ended with me losing contact with my first salutor. That means I can't develop my abilities. I know that my Uber is there. Sometimes he shows himself, but I can't feel the link anymore. Generally speaking, I'm losing it more and more each day. If it disappears, my mind... I'll lose my sense of reality. I'll fall into madness. I don't know if I can help you. Uh, say we can pay him well. I've got money, if that's what matters. Give it to the needy. Your riches mean nothing to me. I meant I don't know if I'm able to help you. My gift is something I've received from God. Some I've helped, others I can't say. And I've never treated a thaumaturge. Maybe just do the same with me as with the others. We can try. Focus on my voice. You are safe. As long as you can hear my voice, you are safe. Let me gaze into your mind. Let me see through your eyes. Let me... Where... where am I? Rasputin. There's no one in here. There's a salutor. I need to get out of here. What is this sound? Shackles? You're blind. You've never grasped the science of spotting the perfectly obvious. Can you still not see? What do I supposedly not see? Flaw clouds your vision. It always has. Pride. Your damned pride and sense of superiority. This is a thaumaturge. I must have gotten that from you, father. You lose, idiot. You always do. You're even losing against yourself. You can't see, but can you at least hear? You're weak, stupid, and blind. Well, thanks, Dad. Do you hear me? Do you? Do you? I can see, Father. Clearly. Will you be lying there much longer? I wanted to sweep. Damn, lady. Gotta be so aggressive with the with the good morning. Where's Rasputin? <laughs> In the cemetery, chasing away evil spirits and giving people comfort. You all right? <sighs> yes, yes. Absolutely. <laughs> I wanted to sweep. We, we got it. We got it. <laughs> I'm just heading out. It's so good to see you again. 
He's like, you know, I can't speak. And something else. <laughs> I saw him clear as day. It wasn't a vision. It was a salutar, unbound by a pact. A wild one. And if so, that means there's someone in the village with a flaw that's attracting it. You talking to me? I was praying. I wanted to sweep. Damn, just tell me to hurry up. <laughs> Oh, we got another point. And this one. We'll develop deed because uh part I really don't think we need him need that early on like that. That'll probably be like one of the last ones, but I know that this skill over here, perfect efficiency, is gonna come in clutch. And I think that's what uses up our focus, maybe, because I don't know what that. Oh, it's a cast. Okay, yeah, because all these other ones don't say cast. Quests have multiple objectives. Freely switch for the one you'd like to track. After switching, the objective will reveal a path to follow. So you see how, like, right here, it's split off into two paths? Or where is it? Right here, yep. So now there's, like, two of them. So we got... Find the person with the flaw. They'll go gawk, but without lifting a finger. Just Vesna will bring it, Vesna will help. But if Vesna needs help with something, there's nobody to be found. Oh, I hate that too. Hmm. That's not yours, don't touch. All these newcomers causing more problems. Hey, I was just helping. Damn. You didn't even pick up the rest. Like, why pick up one for me and then walk away? You're just wasting food at this point. Very certain is Vesna. She left her distinct trace on the fruit. It consists of a heart fluttering in panic and a throat painfully clenched. A bite of this apple would taste of pure fear. Okay. So we found a person, I guess, that's attracting the flaw. Nothing over here to interact with. So we will... There's something down here. Am I sensing... Goose twisted neck flows with the anger and passion of a person who slaughtered the poor bird. The wave of emotions carries no desire for meat or feathers, only the sour taste of envy and the desire for all of Bogdan's property to go to hell. Nothing over here, really? I guess it's just this we can interact with. Salt. And then we'll talk to this person. Over my dead body. I reject this verdict. Well, I expected as much. And he wanted to come see you himself. He was first to judge. I said what I said, and I won't change my mind. Go away, you're attracting gawkers. Not gawkers, a witness. And let him listen. He'll see it fairly. Sir, this liar and thief here stole a memento of my mother. And this witch says I'm supposed to hand my goose over to him, too? Because you strangled mine. And what do I care about some trinkets your mother left well, that's you? Bogged in. Because we already know you strangled the goose, but you still haven't proved that Bogdan stole your pendant. Where is the justice here? All right, let's draw our conclusion. It seems the neighbors quarreled over a goose strangled in an act of revenge, a classic of the genre. So we can either take a side or we can use our thaumaturge abilities to help change up the situation. So we're going to calm this dude down. Why don't you relax and listen to the words of a wise woman? The evidence shows that he did well, strangle that goose. All in all, it's... I'm sorry, Bogdan. Come inside and tell me what you're doing here. Sure. Sorry, even a blade priest, and a lot of the stuff that's just for regular read. 
I plan to just read on my own time to understand like the game lore. The villagers seem to have a certain respect for you, ma'am. So I wanted to ask your help with something. It'll take too long to read all I'm that not other stuff. Any younger boy. Talk before I drop dead. A lot of people benefit from your wisdom. They're superstitious and timid, as far as I've been able to figure out. Easy to control, right? Pot calling kettle. That, my boy, that you can ask that charlatan with fancy dress and beard. Who takes advantage of who here? Bah! The people here are believers, of course. But the spirit in the village is real, too. All right. Well, that's what she means to tell you to her. Is this spirit you're talking about, not a person? I heard it howling. That's nothing human. One evil spirit here persecutes people, and you can hear it now and then, sometimes. Tragedies attract it, and impure thoughts. We here call it a Bukovac. But other places probably call it other things. An evil spirit's an evil spirit. It torments people and turns their weaknesses against them. And what if I told you I could get rid of it? I'd say I'll believe it when I see it. And I'd ask, how else can I help you? And so I don't know enough, uh, I guess, for other things to ask you. So I have to discover stuff and then piece them together and then come back to talk to her, I believe. I haven't gotten any other dialogue out of her before when I played through the prologue, so we'll just have to well, come back to her. I hope you'll still be alive when I get back, madam. Damn. Is she old, old? sensing got a wooden box box mark words of love sweetest kisses the name of Vesna and Luca intertwine trying to protect them from damp rain from all the evil the world carries okay race unknown we have that door there too but we're gonna interact with the with the world first damage axe shaft the shaft is overgrown with the thorns of a bitter words but there are others Warm, delicate, and rose petal, but they betray a love for someone who's not afraid of thorns. A love that is difficult, but not accepting of violence. Broken shards of a dish. The quarrel erupts, suddenly spewing out bile of mutual complaints and grievances. Frenzy lasts until all involved are out of reach. So this is related to Vesna. Domestic squabbles. In this house lived a married couple who do not mince their words. They argue violently, loudly, until they are out of breath. But they persist together, despite everything. Can't remember if there was like another thing to interact with these people. If not, we'll just go to the door. Knock, knock. I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. I'm telling you, go away or I'll call for help. Help! Help! Somebody help me! What are you doing here, you tramp? What? I'm not looking you didn't for have trouble. To call me a I tramp? just wanted to talk. We'll talk, all right. Oh, great. Now I gotta beat up you guys. Oh, yeah, and then now, since we have, like, the upgrades, you can always adjust your, how your skills play out like that. Strong attacks and focus. In order to launch a strong attack against an enemy, you must take away all their focus, causing them to enter the breakdown state. Strong attacks are much powerful than other skills and allow the fight to end quicker. So... This dude has a plan to hit. <laughs> Let's attack him first and remove his focus. Damn. The fact that they just throw hands in here. <laughs> 
бой. Remove that focus. Let's F him up. And just like that, we whooped your ass. <laughs> the devil sent you. You could say that, sure. All right. If thinking interferes with their actions, so much of the worse for thinking. The locals are impetuous, irritable, and eager to pick a fight for even the most trivial reasons. Something is not right. And it looks like we got a Thaumaturge point as well. So then we will up the mind. So I want to develop these first because I think this is like most of the stuff we interact with. And then we'll go to art and then we'll figure out what we want to do next. But we got these upgrades. So we got reduce focus by one. If the enemy's in a suffering state, which we really can't even use right now, actually. We'll add that there. Can I put both on here? No, okay. Yeah. Let's go back to talking to this lady. I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please, go. We didn't invite any guests over. Please, please. Please, please. Only because you asked nicely. So it looks like we can't really interact with her yet. Even though this region says find the person with the flaw. So let's switch quest to go to the cemetery now. Excuse me. I need to get to the local cemetery. Could you give me a lift? I've only just come back from the post office this morning. I'm not getting the horse going again. Back to the cemetery. It's not like anyone there is going to run away. And look, my horse is more dead than alive. Jeez, bro, just do your damn job. Oh. Uh, if I use my power, I should be able to change his attitude. I'll be right back. So we gotta figure out um, what we need in order to unlock that dialogue. Okay. Thaumaturgy can manip manipulate other people. Sorry about that. First, you must know a person's secret, which you can learn by making conclusions. If the manipulation is available, the character interaction icon will change and Ooper will appear next to the character. Shovel shows traces of mud and ice. Coachman had to free a wagon. And then a rag. The rag reeked with the sour odor of fatigue. Attempts to free the wheels. Wheels from the soft soil made the spine crack like a fishbone. And the muscles burn with fire. And no one would help. Such was his job. Such was his fate. The coachman is tired and weary. He's worked hard at unloading the wagon alone. And all he dreams of is a moment of rest. I can relieve his suffering. And then there's Uber. Popping up, so let's manipulate. I'm not going anywhere. And now we unlock that dialogue. Or the action. Make the coach's fatigue go away. Maybe you'll change your mind and drop me off at the cemetery after all. Mm -hmm. Well, on the other hand, this place isn't much more exciting than the cemetery. And I meant to take the horse out for a ride, so get on. Say less. Let's go. Go explore first before we go and talk. Stone strikes against stone, heavy guided by a hateful hand. The blows carry anger, despair, chaos. The tombstone cracks and crumbles, but it's not enough. Death is not enough. Vandalizing a grave is not enough. Nothing will ever be enough. And this is Elder Vasily who died only a year ago with a damaged tombstone. All right, nothing over here. You're alive. 
Does that mean I helped, Thaumaturge? Sure does. I see him. My Uper. He's back. I can feel our bond growing stronger as each moment passes. I'm happy for you, but do restrain your joy. We're in the cemetery. I mean, I guess. I don't have enough words, sir, to thank you for what you've done for me. I haven't felt this way in years. I'm glad I could help. When I heard you were at the cemetery, I was sure I'd see you resurrecting the dead. Not yet. Today I'm just praying for rest for Vasily's soul. The whole village is suffering after his loss. He was the elder here. He cursed this place. Since he died, darkness and misfortune have hung over the village. You see? To them, every harm comes down to witchcraft. They believe that after Vasily's passing, the village was possessed by some monster that howls at night or some other Yavits. What the heck is that? Yavits? What changed in the village after the Elder died? It's all dreadful, sir. Everything's gone topsy-turvy. When folks get to arguing now, they're so hot-headed. Before you know it, they're at one another's throats. Ladies have no patience for kids, nor lads for ladies, nor neighbors for neighbors. Any word might seem offensive and like an insult waiting to happen. Then you've got to fight. And that explains Tragedy why we've had to fight. <laughs> Vasily's death leave their mark on everyone. It takes time to come to terms with something like this. That doesn't mean this place is possessed by dark forces. How did the Zelda die? There was a fire, sir. Flames shooting sky high, and him burning, swearing, speaking curses. And the curse stuck. Those ruins seem a profaned place now. A wicked spirit has taken over the blighted land. Don't encourage her. Once she gets going, it can't be stopped. But it seems like it, it, it really is a problem now, bro. Work of a salita. What do you mean? You know what we mean. Elder's death was not peaceful. The flames consumed his house, and then he started cursing. As you were healing me, I had a dream, a vision. But on the borderline of sleep and wakefulness, I thought I saw a salutor. That's what might be influencing the villagers and wailing at night. They're good people, but none too bright, Victor. I'm afraid they might be talking about a train. The wise woman was saying the evil spirit is a book of hatch. Does the creature hunting you rattle chains, slither around, and have a mouth full of giant fangs? A Bukovac. Where did this elder live? I'll show you. Alrighty. Let's allow Vasily's soul to rest. Let's go on a field trip, bro. Amen. A woman in the cemetery claims the village is haunted by a lich. His name is Bukovac. The peaceful and happy village? Not quite. The villagers are riled up and on the point of breaking, laying the blame for the troubles on the actions of Bukovac. They are trying to defend themselves against this dark force with folk methods. Yeah, that's useless. Alright, let's head on out. Burned homestead. Let's go. And that loaded fast. Now we just do our investigation still. Can you feel it? It's the smell of mystery. Fear has embedded itself deep in the fabric of the door frame. Fear of the flames and trepidation about losing a loved one. They scream about an attempt to break down the door, but the hinges find letting go. They scream in a space that doesn't respond. A horrible death. A dried blood stain. It has soaked deep into the burned boards of the house the wound inflicted with the scissors wasn't large but it was accurate oh he was stabbed life left the body and the heart went into a spasm and the mind recognized the end it lasted for some time and then the flames came and the pain resounded anew i don't remember reading that the first time about him getting stabbed with scissors 
that's that's intense so you see these like red sparkles too as they pop up on the map as you run around so that like lets you know you're getting close to something to discover too a doll is caked with the hard crust of fear its layers are like the vanish of an old age painting a child's fear a girl's terror a young woman's dread they form a cocoon smelling of turpentine that constricts the throat and forces tears from the eyes pray certain it's vesna's all right and i think that might be it uh yep there's there's our there's our boy this house was always full of fear and its owner was still alive when the house got fire. Someone wanted to kill him. The fire only covered up the crime. And there's the salutator. That mother gave birth to the flaw that you attached to, didn't it? I'll find you when I track down the murderer. I know who owns this doll. Maybe I should give them back to her. Yep, the girl that didn't want to open up the door. She ought to know more about what happened here. Because why would traces of her be here at this house? Vesna smells of fear. Her nerves are badly strained. Her heart is trembling. Her fingers are stiff from anxiety. And her mind wanders. Lost in the wilderness of fear. I may be able to find her home and discover what's behind her jittery condition. Victor! Rasputin. I hope you've got what you want now, Thaumaturge. Because I think it's time to get out of here. Great. Hey. Why the hurry, father? We're the Tsar's men. How about the donation for the Tsar's army? There are no Russian outposts here. I think this is the guy with the nice boots. You're the guy who trashed our comrades? Sure am. We'll do it again. Hey. I can do exactly the same to all of you. He's not as weak as he looks. He actually looks better than he did the other day. But not counting the priest. He's still alone. Not anymore, I'm not. It's time to forward. <laughs> So one thing I know too is that it's good to focus on those with like the the weapons on them, like the knives and stuff. So we'll break your focus, and then we'll break your focus. But those do more damage than the guys that just punch us in the stomach. Bye-bye. Oh, damn, that hurt. Might as well get some health back there. And you're out of here. Oh, this should be. Yep, there we go. Are you alright, sir? Salutors also help you in a fight? Can you manipulate people and cast these demons into their minds? Something like that. Speaking, yeah. yes. Are you sure you're right, sir? Call me Grigori. Let's head back. 
I have to visit someone in the village who can tell me more about what happened here. Grigori. We got another one of those points. And it looks like... I think we have to go in the order, but... We got... Oh, okay, so reducing focus uses up a focus of ours, right? But it seems like... But it looks like we got options for <laughs> combat and stuff. So we got additional skill, action, reaction, inflicts damage. Adrenaline increases inflicted damage by 50%. Exposure increases taken damage by 50%. Oh, okay, we cast that on like a target. And then the salutor's next action will be one round faster. Oh, wow. That is really good to get. Speed up how often like he can attack. But okay, now we'll just up our health because this also gives us a point to our, our heart. Uh, and then we get that passive for 60% chance of dealing double damage. And I think I want that on there. And we'll put relaxation on diversion. <laughs> Reduce the enemy's focus cost one and then we'll restore our focus by three. I don't know. Seem, seems like it makes sense to me at least. Let's head back to the village and we'll head over to Besna. Luckily for us, it's not that far of a walk or run. But I do wish we could make our character move faster. He can't like sprint or anything. Oh. He's here. Now I know that woman's trace. Vesna and her husband both left traces of themselves at the Vasili's burned out farmstead. Lucas sincerely loves his wife. You think he loves her strongly enough to kill for her? He's like, yeah, hell right. yeah. Hell yeah. You better to you ask know. Vesna about that. I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. Please open the door. I'd like to have a chat about your husband. You'd better not be here when he gets back. He's not as talkative or polite as I am. I'll fuck him up too, on sight. It is clear that this is not the first time Vesna has threatened someone with her husband. Luca must not have the best reputation in the village. So Luca, he's a resident, see Luca as a sullen churl and a recluse, however he seems to have a soft spot. Luca was at Vasily's house on the night the murder and fire took place. I know you're scared, but please just open the door a crack and let me ask one quick question. That's more than a crack, but okay. So we can calm her down with our power, or we can give her the doll that we found. So let's give her the little doll. I think I've got something of yours. I found it by your father's burned out farmhouse. You've imprinted your fear onto it. I know because I'm a thaumaturge. I want to help. What do you want to know? Where can I find your husband? In the clearing by the forest. He's chopping wood with the others. Okay. Thank you. Get that thing out of here. The doll? You don't want your doll? Alrighty. Journal has been updated. And then we can head back to the cart dude for fast travel so we can head out to the, uh, the forest clearing. And talk to her man. Again. This time it's a matter of life and death. How is your search going? Almost finished. I know who's attracting the Bukavach. Can you reveal that secret? It's Luca. It has to be Luca. Do you still want to catch that Salutor? Oh yeah? Yes, absolutely. Despite the risk? I hope I can persuade you to come with me. 
That's an enormous favor you're asking me. I hope you'll be able to return it. I give my word. Did you hear? We're going to see Luca Bogosian. Hey. This, <laughs> the loading screen portions don't even give me time to read what the heck they're saying about the area. I'm not here to fight. Luca! He's like, uh, what are you doing here? You shouldn't have threatened my wife. But we didn't. Why did you do this? We didn't threaten her. I don't know what you're talking about. You're the one who brought the Salitor here. The spirit that you all say arrived in the village after Vasily's death. The Salitor is what's making fear consume you all and making you hot-headed. And it's because of your flaw, which has been within you since the murder took place. A murder might just be about to take place. Cut off his head. What? Tear off his head before he opens his mouth again. He's like, I'm not about Unless that life. You're the one that killed him. And I'd do it again if I could. Oh? Oh? <laughs> Get out of here! Here you are, Dukabad. Vesna's flaw is mine, and you're fine. Alright guys, so pretty much the whole time we've been playing, we've been on Balanced. And so, it's not until you get to this point where you can change up the difficulty. And like I said at the beginning, we're going to be playing this game on challenge. Uh, let's see how this goes. <laughs> Hopefully I don't have to record this fight too many times, but we're, we're going to win it. We're going to win it. <laughs> Defeat a wild salutor. You must get rid of the shadows that protect him. Vanquishing the shadows will weaken him, but the weaker he is, the more fiercely he will fight back. The bar tells you when the wild salutor sends more enemies against you. Alrighty. So let's start this fight. And then... We need to reduce the focus. I think this is Luca right here too. Oh, that was a weak hit. States, Bukovec has caused you to enter the suffering state. States can have a benign or potentially deadly effect. Read the descriptions carefully and don't get caught off guard. So, we receive three to four damage at the end of every round. The effect stacks times four. Oof. Gross. Have you lose focus? And then we're gonna attack you, bro. And we got some health there, too. Uh, now we'll we'll try to take this dude out <laughs> after we reduce that focus. Oh wait, I probably should have healed, right? Cool, you're gone. Now we can just focus on old girl. Which, ooh, my health is getting dangerously low. And I take a hit. Uh. Okay. Ooh. Okay, we got a good amount of health back there. <laughs> What is this question mark there?
Oh man, I'm about to die. <laughs> Oh, we got him just in time <laughs> and we got the flaw of vehemence you lose you lose you lose you're going crazy again you blind fool a little faith thaumaturge focus on what's true my voice is true i am the truth you see Look. Taming a Salutor. You defeat Bukovic, the D-Dimension Salutor, but you cannot tame him on your own. Rasputin comes to your help. The untamed Salutor won't obey your order, stops you from developing, and weakens your perception. Fortunately, Rasputin soothes his anger. You achieve the unachievable. So, we needed help in order to tame him, okay? And we got a lot of EXP there. And we tamed the Bukovic. Bukovic? Unbelievable. How do you feel? Are you alright? Well, I don't think I'm hallucinating, but that means I'm currently facing a crowd of furious lumberjacks with axes, so I'd say I've been better. What? What? I'm telling the truth. I'd do it again. None of you understand anything. It's because of this magician. It's his fault. I'm a thaumaturge. The magician didn't kill Vasily. He didn't bring the evil here. You're a witch. To the stake with her. To the stake. And you, why are you just standing there? Are you just letting them do this? Fine, I'll handle it myself. I did it before and I can do it now. What, what have you done? Go, you don't need to see this. <sighs> mm. And so, then we have these options here. We can either force her to leave as an option to see how the story plays out. Uh, Luca looks like he's about to do something rash so we could calm his heart, or we can do the star option, which I think for the most part, when I have the star option available, I'll just go for that. So remind Luca of the proof that he loves Vesna. Think, Luca. Your feelings for Vesna are still true, I know that. Hear out her reasons before you do anything. Yeah, we don't know why she killed uh, the elder. Okay. For all, for all. You two better not come back to the village. As if we wanted to. His mouth didn't even move there. <laughs> Send a telegram at the rail station, but we also have another point we can use. So. This uh, is going to be like close between these. Oh, and then here we go. We got Agony. The skill additionally cast the state on a random enemy. Okay, so we're going to eventually upgrade those. But I think I want to get Powerful Mind. Uh, just because that's going to be clutch to have. And then Mental Focus makes you lose focus instead of taking damage with the 4 to 1 ratio. I guess we'll put that there. Let's go to the railway station. Oh, there's someone here. Excuse me, sir. Do you happen to know when the train arrives? The postmaster said it's usually no more he than does an hour He does not late, belong so here. Like, where are you come from, bro? Moment. I got a tougher question for you. Uh, pardon? Will this train get me close to Albuquerque? I'm in Mexico? It's an ocean away, <laughs> and even to the ocean, you've got a ways to go. Thank you. Ever since I took a wrong turn at Albuquerque, I can't get my bearings. The things I've seen, sir, places I've been, I just can't get to Albuquerque. That was that was weird dialogue that they gave us. Like what? All right, let's go send this telegram. Let me make sure there's nothing else new in here.
I wanted to send two telegrams, one to Warsaw and one to Paris. Mr. Shulsky, I was meant to send for you when the driver came to get the mail. My condolences about your father. Damn. Pops died. So you just read our letter first, though? Do you still want to send something? <sighs> so we got a message from Lycia. Did you come to say goodbye to me? More like to share my fear. Your condition yesterday, after the fight with that Bukovac, he troubled. I mean, I did almost die. I don't think my treatments are having a long lasting effect. Are you gonna travel with us? And you don't look the best. Do you feel all right? Peachy. I've just heard that my father is dead. My condolences. After your treatment, when I was hallucinating, I saw him. I heard his voice for the first time in years. I'm sure it was him. A strange feeling. Maybe he came to say goodbye. Maybe it was his last chance to but speak he was, to He you. was talking shit. Prophecy. I hope not. Pops was talking shit. <laughs> what do you intend to do now? Uh, yeah, let's head to Warsaw. I have to bury my father in Warsaw. Hmm. And go see our sister. You? Thanks to you. I don't think I have anything else to do here. I had a little time to think about what I saw in your mind. Tell me, Victor. Have you ever seen a human skull cracked open on the cobblestones? What the hell? Your question sounded like a threat. Because it is for all of us. I have the skull of Franz Ferdinand himself, with his brain spilling out onto the sidewalk. I also saw the white steps in Odessa running with blood, a battlefield blanketed in lethal fog, with faceless beings emerging from it. Okay. This hasn't happened yet, but I saw it as clearly as I see you now. Thanks to you, I know that I can stop it. I know that I am part of history, and I can change it. Even at the cost of scorn, contempt, or my life. You promised me a favor, so Warsaw sounds perfect. I want to go back to the village and talk to that lady, though. But I guess we, we can't do that. <laughs> the Thaumaturge. Hell no. <laughs> Are we just going in? All right. Oh, now you scared after you walked in? Stop, Warsaw. Time to wake up. 
It's clouding over. The weather is like my mood. Aside from the circumstances of the funeral bringing you back, you hadn't thought of ever returning This dude looks weird in a different outfit. Read him what the papers the say. The only person I consider close is my sister. But Varsovians? Let's see. Workers are striking. They want to take advantage of the Tsar's visit to Orso. The protests are being violently suppressed. Last week, around a dozen people were killed. Polish Socialist Party militants attacked a train. They stole money, bonds, and explosive materials. They're also suspected of robbing a transport of... Dutch bombing? The Socialist in Warsaw must look pretty sharp then. <laughs> Looking dapper as hell. Murders, muggings, and poverty. The newspapers feed on sensation. Remember that in darkness, even a small spark can be seen clearly. Even I can feel hope from all the people riding with us. Can't you? Let's tell them what we've sensed in the passengers. <laughs> Even without my powers, I can tell that hope is bringing people here from all three petitions. Miners, steelworkers, governesses, maids, speculators, thieves. I've gotten to read a few of our fellow passengers' possessions, and I know that hope can have many faces. Will you share that knowledge with me? There's a terrified woman riding with us. She's either running away or in hiding. I think that gentleman is smuggling something, because excitement is all mixed up with guilt inside them. And this dandy, he's going whoring. <laughs> if there's something I've learned in life, Victor, it's never to neglect the whores. Oh, okay. That, that could be a new saying. Orso and Obeline, welcome to Warsaw. I think the time's come to ask where you plan to stay. He's like, not with you? I'll let you know when I come up with something. Well then. Finish your business in the village and go to Warsaw. But I didn't finish my business. Dang, I need to go back for that. And it looks like we also got like another point to level up. Uh, which some of these I don't. Yeah, we'll develop heart. <laughs> I think this perfectionism is going to be pretty clutch to have. Um, and then I think I'll actually put that on our strong attack. Man, we need more options here. I thought we were going to have more options, but... Okay. But guys, I'm going to end off the episode like this. We're like an hour and 15-ish minutes in. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps out the video a lot. And also subscribe to the channel because it lets me know you enjoy the content you see right here. But with that said, guys, stay sharp. Later.